Okay, next thing we need to look at is the female breast. Um, actually, male breasts are the same. The only difference is there's, uh, you have the alveolar glands uh, that actually produce milk, and then males don't tend to have as much adipose tissue in them, so their breasts aren't as large. Um, but basically on the breast, you have all of this pink tissue here, which is known as alveolar tissue. That's, or alveolar glands, and that's where actual milk production occurs. So you go from the alveolar glands, then you move down into what's known as the alveolar ducts. So these little ducts right here, those are all known as alveolar ducts. Then you see a little swollen area here at the ends of the alveolar ducts, and these are known as the ampulla or the lactiferous sinuses. And this is just a little storage area, so it, notice it's swollen and it can fill up with milk so that the baby, when it's suckling, is not having such a difficult time. You can just get a kind of a storage area for milk in those uh, ampulla or lactiferous ducts, or excuse me, lactiferous sinuses. And then the lactiferous sinuses or ampulla open up into a tiny duct there known as the lactiferous duct. So then the lactiferous duct will and that, that, this model shows it better, the lactiferous ducts actually open up into the nipple itself. So when the baby attaches on the nipple, the lactiferous ducts are what are actually opening up into the tip of that nipple. Notice here on this breast, you've got the uh, glandular tissue, the alveolar tissue uh, mixed in with adipose tissue. Then you've got, well, it's been cut in half, but you have a, a darkened area here which has a thicker uh, epithelium on it. That is known as the areola. And then at the tip of the areola, you have the nipple where the milk glands open into, the, actually the lactiferous ducts open into that. The purpose of the areola is when the baby latches on and starts sucking, you don't want them to just latch on the skin. That's how you give somebody a hickey. Right here, you want them to latch on to the, this uh, thickened skin right here of the areola, and then it's not as painful for the woman when the baby is breastfeeding. Uh, but basically, that's all you need to know about the uh, breast.